up, guys? Welcome to episode 47, season 2 of the Monday Night Wars. I am your host of this glorious YouTube show. I am Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is my co-host, Amac Gaming. Oh, you're talking about me. No, I'm not. Oh, Chad, I want, I'm going to run the show down, and I want you to I want you to do it. Want me to do it? No, I don't. Well, that'd be fun. I was going to say, I was... I, I mean, I'd be down. That'd be fun. It would be fun. Not It'd be kidding. a real hoot and a half, some would say. It'd be more than a half a hoot. It'd be probably... <laughs> it would be more than a half a hoot. <laughs> uh, hey, Chad. Match number two is in the match tonight. He's taking on Royal Rumble entrant CM Punk. No, he's not. CM Punk's not in the Royal Rumble. What am I talking about? Uh, and then we also see... The Kings of the Mountain, Frankie Kazarian and Jimmy Jacobs defeat the Quebecers in 1451 when Frankie Kazarian hits Jacques Rougeau with the Wave of the Future. What a match. What a match indeed. Move on. The Rock is in the middle of the ring and he says, Mark Henry is going to go one-on-one -on -one with the Great One. This, no offense, to Mark Henry, but The Rock has beaten better people with his hands behind his back. The Rock has beaten better people playing video games online. You see, Mark Henry hasn't. He had one good title run. Don't let the records. Don't let the records lie. This man had an IC belt reign that was pretty good, but it doesn't rival mine. The Mark Henry has done a lot of big things here, but he has not beaten anyone, even. Close to the caliber that The Rock is in. Now you see Jim Cornette. It, it seems to me that you saw the first big man and you got a little lovey-dovey. You got a little love at first sight and you said, put him in the ring right now. Well, The Rock says, how about this, Jim Cornette? How about you go shuck a dick? <laughs> you see The Rock is going to do what The Rock does every single time he's been called on to defend his belt. He's going to go one on one with whoever's in the ring. He's going to be he's going to wrestle in the in front of his millions. Millions! There you go. Thank you, Chad. I'm glad you I'm I'm so <laughs> glad you there was silence for a little bit. And I thought you weren't going to get it. I thought you were just a little bit too green for this job and, and I don't <laughs> know if you have the experience to be the intern here. Regardless, he's going to go one on one with in front of the millions. And millions. Millions! Ah! And he's going to beat their candy ass all over the ring because that's what The Rock does. Mark Henry, this is the biggest match you've ever had. You're going to go step in the ring with The Rock. But let me tell you, this is going to be the last time, I hope, that you ever, ever get a World Heavyweight Championship match here in the WWF. Oh. He did the Jericho everything. Yeah. Ooh, La Resistance are in a match tonight, Chad. Oh, what else is new, I say? Well, they take on the Shining Stars in 1545. Savan Grenier pins Primo with a Quebec cutter. Big match right there for the La Resistance boys. Huge. And they celebrate in the ring. They do their little French tickler, their little jab gabagoo. They do their, their little jab gabagoo. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> They do their little gimmick in the ring. What a what a what a run they have these two rookies have started on. Oh boy, Chad. Rain is making her way down to the ring, Chad. Oh, Rain. WCW's hottest talent. Rain. Thank She's you. A... Thank you for advertising our future talent. We appreciate that. Well, see how good she is in the ring. She loses. She gets a twenty five. She taps out to Kana. Ooh, this is not a good Ooh, raw. Not a good raw. But then comes out the champion in wall. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I feel like I'm always saying it wrong. Dakako. I'm just going to say her first name until I learn. She calls out Kana. He said, oh, so now anyone backstage in the women's locker room wants to come out and challenge me. Anyone. Look, I've defeated everyone back there. It doesn't matter who it is. Kana, Satamora, 
the fucking rain. It does not matter. If you step in the ring with Takako, you're going to hit get hit with the Yurakin, and you're going to go night-night, one, two, three, bye-bye, go back to TNA. Orton makes his way down to the ring, Chad. The, the dual champion, the European the European champion, and the intercontinental champion, he takes on Teddy Hart at the Royal Rumble. And he calls he calls Teddy Hart a, probably the worst. He, he says, hey, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. How about you go run back to your boys at home? How about you go tell Owen and Brett that I want to fight a real heart, not a, not a fucking wannabe make-a-wish heart like yourself, Teddy. There's a reason why you haven't made it big like the, your big brothers, Teddy, and it's because you <laughs> suck. And he defeats the big boss man in and, and, and 1452 with a RKO, Chad. Oh, out of, of nowhere. A lot of WCW references tonight. Yeah, what it's like that, we're at war. What does that mean going into the Royal Rumble? Well, you know, you, they figure if you can beat them, you, you might as well reference them on TV and see if they can get some free publicity is what I think it was. Are we going to see a WCW member in the Royal Rumble, Chad? I think we'll probably see a few. Mm. Not, not a former ones, you dingus. It won't be, they won't be contracted by me, of course. I would never send any of my guys over to you. What the hell is Sean DeMar doing here, Chad? I ask myself that every day. I'm asking myself that, too, because I don't know why. I think I mistakenly clicked Sean DeMar. No. This is supposed to be Stone Cold. <laughs> As you can tell, I am not stone cold. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That's unfortunate, brother. <laughs> oh. Kurt Angle. We have, and we have a tag, but we have a tag team match. Yeah, they beat Lenny Lane and Devin Storm. Sick. I'm so happy. This is great. Cornet's Cornet comes out. The promo was Austin, uh, you know, getting a little upset with uh, how Kurt Angle's uh, presenting himself in the Raw locker room, and uh, they team together, and they they have a little bit of a, a little tussle in the middle of the ring. And Cornet says, "All right, mother mother suckers, we're gonna settle this right now, right now. Next week, our main event of the night." We'll see Kurt Angle take on Stone Cold Steve Austin. If you guys want to fight, there's got to be a little bit of punishments for that fight. So the loser of Stone Cold versus Kurt Angle will enter the Royal Rumble number one. You guys want to be little sons of bitches? You guys want to be pain in my asses? How about you guys try to last through the whole Royal Rumble and win it? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, Chad. Sean Devari ruining my show. That sucks. It's all right. Jushin Liger says he's gonna win the Royal Rumble, and he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna ask the company when he wins. Maybe take WrestleMania to Japan so he can win the World Championship in front of his home country. Liger, he wants to win the belt in Japan, Chad. Oh hell yeah, good for Liger. Kane says he's going to ask, he's going to win the Royal Rumble, and he's going to ask Vince McMahon to take WrestleMania to hell, because he wants to win his championship in front of his <laughs> in... own country. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All right, I made him end of the night, Chad. That's Rock funny. and Taka. Oh, this Raw, we're falling off. Raw stinks. <laughs> Raw stinks right now. Yep. That's fine. Yep, and the Rock comes out. And, oh, we end Raw with the Rock beating down Mark Henry backstage, and like security and the cops trying to get Rock away. That's oh my sixty nine. Oh sweet God! Oh, I forgot. That. I had too much angles. Oh, yep, that's the WrestleMania one right there. Yep, that happens. Then double check everything. That's on me. Didn't check my uh, uh, didn't check my uh, ratios right there. That's on me. We'll see you for Nitro. All right, we are back. We have Nitro. Uh, I'm not, you know, just as where I would normally say, man, we've got some tough competition from Raw, but I, I'm gonna take the high road, and I'm not gonna do that because Justin, you, I, I, I'm a better, I'm, I'm growing. I'm a better person this year in 2001. So instead, I say. Let's just get to the show. We have a triple threat match. Mick Foley, Chris Cannon, and Rob Van Dam. We've had this match twice. We figured, what's one more? Justin wanted me to not main event with it. 
But I said, fine, I'll throw it as the opener. So we got Mick Foley, Chris Cannon, Rob Van Dam, and about that had superb wrestling and great heat. Mick Foley defeats Chris Cannon and Rob Van Dam. All three men have gotten a win over the other two men, Justin. They have had plenty of time to showcase their ability. Yeah, I don't want to talk right now. I'm mad about Raw. That's fine. Oh, we should be doing Justin. You're oh, shit Mr. about his Mr. Raw. Mr. High Road can't be a oh. good guy for more than 20 seconds. You turn faster than <laughs> Big Show, brother. Yeah, well, listen. I'll, I'll tell you what I was going to tell you off air. <laughs> no, tell me right now, puss boy. I was going to say Big Show ain't dominant. Oh, McFoley! He celebrates in the ring after his win. Suck he tells head. everybody yeah. in the Kentucky Freedom Hall to have a nice day. So you're gonna find your mailbox on fire tomorrow. <laughs> Chris Jericho comes down to the ring and he starts shit talking all three of them. He says, "You know what? I I am sick and tired of these three idiots campaigning. Me too. So I'm gonna camp. So I'm gonna campaign. I'm gonna campaign for all of you to not vote." First of all, we got the man who just won tonight, Mick Foley, a man who's out of shape, a man who is overrated, a man who hasn't won the big one, I think, ever, and just not world champion caliber. Then we've got Rob Van Dam. First of all, he couldn't beat AJ Styles. What in God's name do you think he could beat me, the immortal one? The best of the best. Listen, a booyah, kabooyah, ka Jericho, baby, that's me. And, I, and Rob Van Dam doesn't stand a hell of a chance. It doesn't matter if he's one of a kind. It's going to take more than one of a kind to beat me. Because I am truly great. And, and then we look over here and we see Chris Canyon. Listen, Chris Canyon, if it wasn't for that little run you had, people wouldn't even know who you are. You're famous because you cut Raven's hair at Starcade. But I'll tell you what, at least you won. But again, the only thing that you and I have in common is your name is Chris. That is the only thing. You are not in my league. None of these three men have a shot at beating me for this belt. So I ask everyone, please, oh, for every match at Cyber Sunday, please let your voices be heard. The silence. Silence is what we must do for my match. You vote for no one. Silence isn't real. Because I don't dis <laughs> because I don't deserve <laughs> to have to to have to to have to belittle myself and to disgrace this championship by wrestling three men who quite frankly that's my final plea. I'm Chris Jericho and I approve this message. <laughs> and we've got the Heyman guys and the uh, Wolfpack, they're all in the ring, and Paul Heyman sets up a challenge. He says, The Wolfpack have been trying to get into the ha Paul Heyman guy's side for far too long now for the last few weeks, but alas, we just keep coming up on top. What made me think? What could we do to once and for all put an end to the Wolfpack? And it made me think, we should have a match at Cyber Sunday. But here's the thing. I've got Shane Douglas and Taz, the, the WCW Tag Team Champions. And across from us, the Wolfpack, we've got Scott Hall, the United States Champion. So I thought, let's have a six-man pack. And this match is either going to be for the tag team titles, or it's going to be for the U.S. Championship. And I'm going to let you fans vote Whichever one, whichever gets the highest vote, that's what championship is on the line. And the one who gets the pinfall is the one who wins the title. So, if it's for the U.S. championship and Minoru Suzuki which makes the pin, well, then we have a new United States champion. But if, you know, if one of the tag team champions gets Congratulations, because then whoever pins them wins the tag championships. This is going to be a colossal match, and I look forward to adding more hardware to the already pristine Paul Heyman guys with the money in the bank and the tag team champion. Everybody, we're going to get the job done. Is that? Spoiler. Big match. And we've got mm. Queen Charmel taking on Kara Slice in a terrible match. Queen Charmel defeated Kara Slice by pinfall. It looks like karma came back. Oh, and no. Bit Chad in the ass. Oh, no. Who's hurt? Oh, Queen Charmel. Broken ankle. Oh, dear God. Well, 
That's a bummer. Uh, she <laughs> yells in pain in the ring. Uh, she was going to say, all hail Queen Charmel, but instead she holds her ankle says, that's broken. all hell, this hurts. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what she says. <laughs> or Queen Charmel, get better soon. I'm on a roll tonight. Let's go. Oh, Lord. We've got a video of Chris Benoit reminding everybody Chris Benoit makes his return, and one member of the WCW roster, Nitro roster, is going to wrestle him in his first match back in 14 months. Justin, who could it be? You're going to have to vote and let your voice be heard. We'll find out in just two weeks. Oh, so it's like open voting. Yeah. Oh. I hope it's Lodi Joe. <laughs> we got <laughs> We got Sting. He's backstage and he sees Diamond Dallas Payton DDP says, Hey, what was that all about last night, last week, huh? Telling, like, like, making making fun of me, saying that I was out of line, saying that I was going to throw a tantrum for, for getting what I deserve. What the hell was that? I thought we were friends. And Sting's like, yeah, I thought we were friends too. And then you, 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 you're you not in syndicate. You, you don't want to fight for the tag titles. Like, but you're the one who, who's been acting like an asshole. He's like, I'm the asshole? Oh, Sting, listen, all right? The reason why I'm upset is because I'm sick and tired of, of just, of, of, you know, is the thing, all right? In Syndicate, they made me tag team champions. I had to belittle myself with somebody like you. I should be main eventing. I should be, I should have been where Scott Steiner's at. Kevin Nash or Goldberg. How come all three of them had world title runs, but we didn't? And you were just okay with that. You were just okay with being two-time tag team champions. You weren't even trying to better yourself, and that sting disgusts me. So you know what? I'm going to better myself tonight. How about this? If you are trying to to, to, to to bring the icon back or whatever it is you said, then how about you fight me tonight in the main event? Things like, all right, yeah, hell yeah, I'll fight you tonight. Showtime. All right, we get Sting DDP tonight, Chad. Yes. Hey! Justin, we've got a brand new tag team to the Nitro brand, Hardcore Holly, and his cousin, Crash Holly. They're here tonight, and in about the head, subpar wrestling and non-existent crowd heat, the Hollies defeat Redacted when Hardcore Holly pinned Mike Barton with a flying leg drop. What the hell? Yes, the Hollies are here. Yes, I, I had to fire Mike Holly when I brought him up because the first day he got brought up, he got popped for drugs. So I said, bye-bye. And Chad knew. I love drag, uh, drug addicts here. So he brought him in. And with our next segment, we've got <laughs> Ahmed. He says, everyone's calling this the new nation, and you're thinking too small. We're not just a nation. We are a whole damn planet. Everybody, let me introduce to you to this new and improved group, Planet Ahmed, and I did to Bubba Ray what I'm going to do with my new crew with every single person that stands in our way. The, I was put, I, I had to be in the Battle Royal at Starcade instead of getting the match I deserved. And I, at first I was pissed off, at first I was mad, but it ended up being the best thing that could happen to me. Because when I was in the Battle Royal, I met these two tough sons of bitches, and these two... These two were sick and tired of being passed on for being for being ch passed over, and they knew that if they teamed up with me and we formed Planet Ahmed, we would make a noise. And so we're here to put WCW Nitro on notice. Hell yeah! <laughs> and they fight. Uh, three former ECW guys: Stevie Richards, Sabu, and Saturn. A decent match. Planet Ahmed. Defeats Sabu and Sandman and Steve Richards when Ahmed pins Stevie Richards with a spine buster. There you go. Big match right there. Planet, Planet Ahmed. It's an interesting yeah. name. Ooh, boy. Uh, Let's, go. Let's go. <laughs> Stacy. Woo -hoo. Choo -hoo -hoo. China has her women's championship and she's <laughs> backstage and, and she's like, wow, that really sucks for Queen Charmel. Wow. Well, I wonder who I'm going to face for the women's championship down the line. I mean, not not that Queen Charmel was next in line, but I mean, she's I, who's next? I beat Debbie Malenko, like I, I, I and then Stacy Keebler. She walks in, she slaps China in the face, and then before China could react, she says, "I'll fight you." And then leaves. What? 
Yeah, so Stacy Keebler slapping Shine in the face. What the fuck's that about, Stacy? I don't know. But um, oh, this main event wasn't as good this as is, I thought it was going to be. This is the first show I could have beaten, and I shit the bed. Yes, and about with Gray Heat and Good Wrestling, Sting defeated Diamond Dallas Page with a Scorpion Deathlock. 89. Is, 89. Wrestling, is wrestling dead in 2001? What the hell? 89, 89. Listen, I will take it. I will take it. We once again win the Monday Night War. Let's see if SmackDown can beat Thunder. We will see. I doubt it. Everybody, we'll have to see you soon. And we are back with some SmackDown. Let's see if Justin can rally back after the... Oh, yeah. Let me look at that before. Jeez. Not so great Raw. He will not be penalized. Away. All right, cool. I have enough. I'm fine. I've got good ratio. Jesus Christ. Fuck, that fucked me. A lot of... Th- this is... This might... WWF, this is it. We have had a, an awful start to 2001. Just very unlucky. And uh, the luck... You know, we'll, we'll you'll see what I'm talking about later in a promo or later tonight. But it's just not been a good start to the year. As you've beaten me every week, I've beaten my. <laughs> we start off SmackDown though with it. We had a um, we had a little pop up that said Fruk created a Fruk had a barbecue, Chad. Fruk had an indoor barbecue here in Idaho at the Taco Bell Arena here in Boise, Idaho. Um, the thing is this year, I'm trying to make sure both Raw and SmackDown are continuously moving around the country in different spots. So, okay. so far, SmackDown's been on the it, with the West Coast. We saw they started in the Kyle Palace in California, the Arizona Jobbing.com Arena, and now we're in Idaho. While Raw has been going down the East Coast in Madison Square Garden, uh, New Hampshire, and then last show they were in Boston Gardens. So it's been all over the place. Oh, yeah. I'm not trying to – a thing that we got lazy with is just keeping it in the same same uh, location for every show. So that's something I've been, at least for SmackDown and Raw, switching so everyone can get over in different places. So here we are. Fruit has his barbecue indoor at the Idaho Taco Bell Arena. Uh, we get the we get the video of what uh, uh, PJ Black knocking on the door – to Vince McMahon's office in Stanford, Connecticut, at WWF headquarters, and he says, get in here. And PJ Black is, is covering up. He's like, look, if I wanted to hit you, PJ, I would. But we have a serious situation going on. Sit down. Um, unfortunately, the, the match of Eddie Guerrero and Paul White has to be canceled. Uh, Paul White last week uh, tore his ACL or something, ankle ligament damage, and he is out for a a decent amount of time. At least doctors say in a half a year. And you know what, PJ? You were asking about it. You were asking about it. Yep, you earned my respect by kicking my ass. I still don't like you. You're still a slimy piece of shit. And I don't want to reward anyone that disrespects me, my family, or my daughter, but you did earn it, so... PJ Black, Royal Rumble, you get your shot. You're going one-on-one with Eddie Guerrero. And PJ Black's like, oh, holy, holy, holy shit, thank, thank the God, because I was threatening to walk out. Excuse me? I'll take it. Uh, bye-bye. Paul White, out, Chad. And that leaves the door open for PJ Black. It will be Eddie Guerrero, PJ Black. And Hell yeah. Ugh. Well, also, that also you have the worst luck when it comes to Rumble season. You always lose someone big building up to it. That's Paul White out for Romania. Kishi is out for Mania. It's just not looking great right now. Not looking great at all. Chris Saban and a game will have a match here, Chad. And Chris Saban gets a big win in 1441 with the Future Shock. Excuse me, what? <laughs> future Shock. <laughs> Why? Oh. <laughs> he, oh. he hit him with the Randy Orton. Get him with an RKO into an F5. Oh, my God. Into a right hook from Mike Tyson. Oh. A lot of people aren't talking about Mike Tyson in the Rumble. He's got a good shot to win. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> Eddie storms Bischoff's office. He's like, you can't. What do you mean? Paul White's out. What do you mean? And he's like, yeah, I mean, 
Look, man, I know you're disappointed. What do you mean disappointed? I'm so happy I don't have to take on the big giant anymore. You know how easy it's going to be to defeat PJ Black? You know how the standard competition just went from here to the bottom of the floor? PJ Black wouldn't even be a mid-card champion in WCW. What are you talking about? This is going to be great. I'm going to have the easiest day at the Royal Rumble. I'm in the opening match, all right, and then I get to, I get to, I get, to, I get to wrestle PJ Black. I get to easily defend my title. And then I'm going home. And I'm going to sit back. I'm going to kick back and watch the Royal Rumble. What? My day doesn't get... It's not going to get any better than this, Vince or Eric. doesn't matter. You could, you could put me in a match tonight. You could, you, could, you, could, you, could, you could twist my nipples and hurt me. I don't care. <laughs> Nothing is going to ruin this day. And Eric's like, oh... I guess if you're that excited, congratulations, I guess. But I would not take <laughs> PJ Black. I wouldn't take him. Uh, I, w- I wouldn't let your guard down. The man beat Vince McMahon, Eddie. And I know you You remember last Royal Rumble, you beat Vince McMahon. And you know how hard that was. So don't take him any. Don't take him lightly. Because if you let your guard down, we could have PJ Black walking out the Royal Rumble as the new World Heavyweight Champion. And I know you wouldn't want that. I I don't care. I would be I would love if that happens. PJ Black is one of my favorite superstars, Eddie. So I'm just saying, keep your guard up here. You got a hell of a match coming up uh, uh, coming up at Royal Rumble. And be a damn shame if you walked out without your championship. LA resistance are here, Chad. They take on Tatanka and Test. And about that had terrible wrestling and non existent crowd heat. Law La- of Resistance defeat Tatanka and Test in 1448 when Rene Dupree pins Tatanka with the Dupree driver. What a match this was. Another win for Law of Resistance. For Law of Resistance. <laughs> uh oh, boy, buddy. The Big Rig Fig and Chad Collier are. An absolute mess right now. They are a nervous wreck. Their big, bad, booty daddy Paul White is injured. And they don't know what to do. They're freaking out, Jed. They're packing up. They're trying to leave. They're trying to escape the arena. It's like a, a, a natural disaster is on their way, and they're trying to evacuate. They're trying to get the hell out of here. Uh, we see a, 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 a Royal Rumble tune-up match for Shawn Michaels and Bam Bam as they go one-on-one here. Shawn Michaels defeats Bam Bam in 1826 with a sweet chin music, Chad. We have another tune-up match right after. It's Triple H. Yes, he's t- tuning up the band to tuning up the match. Triple H taking on Road Dog here. Triple H makes his way down to the ring. And in 91, Triple H defeats Road Dogg in 1634. Two odds on favorites. Triple H and Shawn Michaels get two big wins uh, about nine days away from the Royal Rumble. Are they going to win? Who knows? Eric Bischoff calls both Psychosis and Booker T into uh, his office. And he says, Booker, look, if anyone, if you, anyone watched TV... Two weeks ago on SmackDown, they would have known and would have watched you take the the number 30th briefcase. I don't want you to act stupid anymore. Can you please give back Psychosis the briefcase? I don't know what you're talking about, sucker. I don't have the briefcase. All right, Booker. Booker, 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 Booker. Booker, 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 Booker. You're going to get in the ring right now with Psychosis right now. All right? You either give him the briefcase right now, or you guys go fight for it. All right? Is that cool? Do you want to fight for it, Booker T? Or do you want to be a, 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 a rat? And Booker and Psychosis go to the ring. They have a match right here. And Psychosis defeats him in 1734 for the number 30th briefcase, Chad. That good. Damn right. A damn right. And now, Chad, your favorite segment. The Undertaker makes his way down to the ring. He's got a tune-up match in the Royal for the Royal Rumble, and it's against a pretty big superstar here, Chad. It's against the man who also said he was going to win the Royal Rumble last week, 
goes one-on-one -on -one with the rated R superstar Edge. And in a 99, Undertaker defeats Edge in 1819 with a chokeslam. And that, Hell yeah. That is the end of the show. A 96, SmackDown is back. SmackDown is indeed back. SmackDown is back. We but have will a... it be better than Thunder? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it will. I'm actually going to write it down right now that we won this week. Okay. And when Thunder's not even on yet. I won. Ha ha. Ha ha. Suck it, Chad. I had a bad show, and I still win. <laughs> and we're back with Thunder, and we are on the road to Cyber Sunday. Justin, we got a big show planned today. Ooh, man, I was just checking my uh I was just checking my uh taxes, Chad. Yeah. Yeah, and they said you're you stink. Oh, that's a weird thing for your taxes to say. I don't you know what, I don't know. My turbo tax, man, like I don't, All right, I don't know, man. Turbo don't who knows? Go to H and R block, baby. <laughs> Uh, we start the show off. Shamrock and Stallone are in the ring, and AJ Styles comes out to the ring, and he challenges Shamrock to a fight. He says, you know what, Ken Shamrock? You know what? How about how about this? How about we don't wait until Cyber Sunday? How about, you know, you guys just want to keep running your mouth constantly? You guys are like two best friends, aren't you? I think it's cute. How about tonight, you and I, we fight each other, and then we don't, we don't have to wait. And Shamrock laughs, and Stallone laughs, and... And says, you know what, Ken Shamrock, you know, he is one of my best friends. <laughs> You're right about that. Listen, I've got another best friend. A man who I signed to a big contract. And you're going to face him in the main event tonight. It's a mystery opponent, but he is Thunder's newest acquisition. AJ Styles. And AJ says, I don't care who you signed. I'll kick, I'll beat them. Just like I'm going to beat Ken Shamrock at Cyber Sunday. And they laugh and they say, we'll see. We'll see you out there. <laughs> Who could be the big acquisition, Chad? My money is on um, Giant Gonzalez. Ooh, that's a good pick. We'll have to see. You know, Giant Gonzalez did wrestle in the very first match on Thunder after the post-brand split. And we got Steven Regal versus Abaddon. And it is a match. Steve Segal defeated Abaddon with a Regal stretch. Just wanted to see, you know, he had a good show in week one. Let's see if he had a good show in week two. How do you do in ring, Justin? I uh, will show you in a second. Uh, he had a 56. Oh, nice. Who got hurt? Okay. He's going to probably miss seven days, too, like uh, Stardust. Stardust missed, like, 14. Oh, well, I hope he can make the pay-per-view. <laughs> he might not. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Nice call up. Uh, done. Regal is uh, in the ring. He's holding his nose because it's hurt. And uh, while that's happening, Samoa Joe is going to go beat down Steven Regal. But then... Lo Lodi Joe comes in and he makes the save and and he runs in and Samoa Joe he looks at him like why the why the hell should I be scared of you and then Lodi Joe's like right yeah uh 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 and he rolls out of the ring and then Samoa Joe rolls his eyes and is gonna go back to beating down Regal and then Lodi comes back in with a chair and hits Samoa Joe in the back with it and then grabs Regal and rolls back out of the ring and and Samoa Joe's angry as hell but but then Lodi Joe says you don't mess with Lodi Joe you don't mess with Lodi Joe Lodi Joe's gonna kill you I'll see your ass at Cyber Sunday that belt's coming with me and then Regal's like uh, Lodi my bloody nose is broken please stop antagonizing Samoa Joe <laughs> I hope Lodi wins the vote I think we're all pulling for him. I say that every Thunder, but Lodi's really like the star of Thunder right now. <laughs> we have Matt Hardy, and about had good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Matt Hardy defeated Billy Kidman with a flying leg drop. What a match. What a match. And after the match, Matt Hardy, he says, you know what? I want to defend my Cruiserweight Championship at Cyber Sunday. So, if you go on to WCW.com, you'll see a list of all of our intense cruiserweight wrestlers. And you can go on right now and you can vote. And I will take on whichever cruiserweight wins the vote. I look forward to seeing who's going to take on Big Money Matt. This has just been announced. Yes. <laughs> we got a pay-per-view in eight days, brother. Uh, so that's last-minute edition. Matt Hardy. 
Listen, well, you know what? It's it's just a last minute edition, but we might have to have a, a replacement because Steven Regal might be having a broken nose. And in this match, Chris Candido defeats Scotty Too Hotty and Eric Young. Uh, when Chris Candido pinned Eric Young with a blonde bombshell. Mm. What a move. Uh, yes, uh, what a move indeed. And then after that, sweet sensations. I celebrate in the ring. We've got Owen Hart taking on Stardust. This is Stardust's first match back after coming off of injury with that same nose injury that Regal has now. And about that superb wrestling and great heat, Owen Hart defeated Stardust with a sharpshooter. Dude, we've had a lot of injuries in 2001 already. Yeah, it's, it's kind of scary. All right, we keep moving forward. Ooh. We've got a new tag team, Justin. They go by the Freelancers. Their shirts say, see us while you can. And they are wrestling Mike <laughs> and Mike. <laughs> and in about the decent wrestling, but not much heat, the Freelancers defeat Mike and Mike. Steve Carino pinned Mike Quackenbush with an old school expulsion. They're back, Justin. The Freelancers are back. Now, for how long, though? That's what we how are long? asking. Yes. We got a segment. It's Jeff Hardy and Scott Steiner. They are told that that you know they already knew that they were going to fight a Cyber Sunday. They already knew that. But now, what kind of match? And they're going to end. It's going to be some kind of extreme match. It's either going to be a ladder match. It's either going to be a tables match. Or Justin, dare for this, it could be a chairs match. What the fuck's a chairs match? <clears throat> well, you'll have to wait and see. But either I way, Jeff see. Hardy and Scott Steiner, they're going to face. <laughs> I'm voting for something else. I'm not voting for a chairs match. Well, then you can vote for tables or a ladder. Ah, big main event. Uh, AJ Styles is in the ring, and he gets jumped from behind by Vader. And it's AJ versus Vader. Vader and AJ, they have a you know they, the big classic David versus Goliath. And AJ Styles wins by disqualification because Vader just intentionally gets himself disqualified after he um, uh, hurls AJ Styles in the head with the ring steps. And then Justin... That's just alone and Ken Shamrock come out. Ken Shamrock and Vader, they they get amped. They hug each other in the ring. They, oh, they SMS alone says, I told you I had a couple best friends. And then they, uh, Vader and, and Ken Shamrock, they stand next to Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone uh, hands Vader and Shamrock two t-shirts. And they put the t-shirts on. And it says on the t-shirts, about crew as they stand over AJ Styles, Justin. What a force on thunder. Vader's back. Yeah, he's just like the freelancers. He comes and goes. And he's teaming and he's back with more importantly, Justin, he's back with no, Ken I don't Shamrock. Wanna, I don't want to speak on that. Uh that uh I don't want to speak on that. <laughs> They're dead to me. You're dead to me. You're... Get a new gimmick. Oh no. I did there, the tap out crew. I didn't call them the best friends. Eighty three. Eighty three Thunder baby. Not even a blue number, Chad. Hey, that's okay. Listen, listen. Better than Raw. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this week, WWF takes one. We get we inch closer to being company of the year four straight yeah. years in a row, boys. Yeah, yeah. One week out of how many have we done so far now? Three? All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many pay-per-views did you win last year? Two? <laughs> well, listen, this is a new year, Justin. New year, new era, new me. <laughs> same Justin bullshit. What do you mean, same Justin bullshit? You already brought, you yeah, brought up Vader yeah. and Shamrock. Same Justin yeah. bullshit right there. This has been years, though. New coat of paint. They're bad guys now. But they were my gimmicks before. Wait till I have them go on dates like we did back in no, the original I, series. It's not funny that you take my shit, Chad. You think I'm laughing about it? Oh, this is, I'm not taking off. it. Listen, they're, 